Hey YouTube, wanted to make another video, a health video, about gluten-free and GMO-free foods. So to get this video started, I'm going to give you a little history on myself. I'm 39 years old. Um, ever since I was a teenager, I had a problem with being extremely fatigued and tired. Um, for years, I just dealt with it. It got to the point when I was driving, I had many problems falling asleep behind the wheel. Um, it's happened to me, I can literally say hundreds and hundreds of times. I've put myself into some various bad situations. I've woken up driving in the middle of a ditch out in the country. Uh, I've got pulled over and got many tickets in one year time frame because I literally got caught by the cop almost every single time it happened to me. Um, finally, I did end up rear-ending a car. This was 20 years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago. Um, it's how I got a cut scar on my nose. I split my nose wide open, um, hit the windshield going like 55 miles an hour. Um, anyway, not smart. If you're tired, do not drive. Um, I was young, felt like I had to get to my job, get to this, get to that tried to deal with it, tried to stay awake. Um, now, at being 39, I um, do not try to drive when I'm tired. If I pull over, I stop, I, you know, used to take five hour energies. Those were the only uh, energy drinks that I could drink that would keep me awake um, and keep me alert, at least for a little bit of time. Other than that, I could drink a Red Bull and I could go to the bed. I mean, it's just, those things usually don't work for me. Um, obviously those aren't healthy and um, half the stuff we eat anymore isn't healthy. I've been to the doctor. Um, they've never been able to figure out what would make me so fatigued. It's just something I learned to live with and for being a young guy, now I'm 39 now, but I'm, this has been going on my whole life. I would always have to take long naps, sleep long amounts of time. You know, I, I needed at least eight, nine, ten hours in order to function. And um, with that being said, sometimes a few hours I would be tired. Um, obviously as I've gotten older it's gotten worse but still manageable as long as I took a nap right around 1 or 2 o'clock um, took an hour two hour nap sometimes it turned into four hour nap um, pretty crazy obviously when I'm not at work and you know needed and had the time to do that but um, it's just something you learn to deal with it sucked um, I couldn't stay up very late uh, you know, seven, eight o'clock rolls around. I mean, I'm like done, especially when I was working 10, 12 hours a day at work. I mean, I was absolutely exhausted. Um, so long story short, uh, we went down to visit my parents in Wisconsin. My dad has a, what he's found out, they don't really go to the doctor too much. Um, he had a problem a few years ago with uh, a lot of mucus build up and like choking and um, it got really bad and my dad started just doing research and all that and um, pretty much figured out by with going to the doctor and figuring things out more on his own he stopped eating gluten ever since he stopped eating gluten and they started eating more clean checking all the labels and making sure green beans are just green beans they're not 16 other different things on the can that you know is we don't even know what it is right um his he started taking you know doing research and taking vitamins and supplements and you know the healthy stuff you know iron and fish oil and he's a big fan of um a mixture that he does of I think it's olive oil and lemon juice and, you know, just a lot of the stuff. And let me tell you, he's um, never been a big guy by any means, you know, little belly maybe. and But he's lost, got to a healthy weight, has been able to maintain it. He just turned 60 years old. My mom's 63. They're both doing it. My mom literally watches everything. She goes into the store um, and it's just really worked for them. So me and my wife, who she, I'm 39, she's 28. Um, she does kind of deal with the same stuff. She was getting tired. We had to, you know, whenever I'd ready for a nap, she was ready for a nap. It was just like crazy. Now I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm in like perfect mint condition shape. I'm not. I need to lose some weight. Um, I was 233 pounds a few weeks ago. Highest I've ever been. Laid off doesn't help. Winter time doesn't help. Um, 
but obviously I knew I had to do something and I'm still working on it right now. But we decided when I was down there, you know what, when we get back, I'm gonna try out this gluten thing. I'm just, just not that I have an allergy to it, but I just wanted to try it out because it just seemed like a really good thing. And it just really helped my parents out. They lost a lot of weight on it. So, I mean, that was like partial motivation because I didn't know a lot about this gluten-free, but I seen them getting healthy and I'm like, let's give it a try. Wife said that she'd try it with me, so we started trying it. We also looked into more so no GMOs in your food, which is genetically bioengineered food. So I've done my research on that a little bit, and it's almost almost everywhere you read on the internet. And I know you can't remember, like, listen to everything on the internet, but I'm the type of person that if I read many, many different sources through all over the place, and if I'm getting around the same story and the same from different doctors and different articles and that if if I can put it all together about the same stuff then it starts to ring true to me um, I'm not easily fooled I do my research I'll talk to doctors but if you look up GMO food the only place that I could find that was saying it's okay and safe for you is the Federal Drug Administration the FDA we won't get into too a lot about with that but I don't know if anybody's paying attention lately I mean it seems like anything the FDA or the government is telling you uh, I mean, a lot of it doesn't seem to be able to be believable, you know, and, and I'm talking both sides of the party, Republican, Democrat. I mean, this ain't a political uh, political debate here, but um, it's just the fact that I don't really trust what they do, right? I mean, it's, it's well known that cancer is widely huge all over the world, but especially in America. Obesity in America is just probably the number one thing, right? And I mean, it's just we have so many problems with health in America. You know, it's supposed to be the greatest, best country, healthcare, and all that. And our healthcare is declining. Uh, the age of people dying is declining. Birth rates are declining. Um, kids born with all sorts of problems is increasing. It doesn't seem like we're going in a better direction for our health. It seems like we're going worse. And I'm a big believer in you truly are what you eat. I'm not going to say I've lived by it. I've yo-yoed, right? Back in 2000 and... Uh, I'll say 11, 12, um, 08, 09, when the entire country collapsed. Um, my job was affected. I was laid off for 18 months. I was a healthy 180, 183 pounds, used to work out, all that good stuff, was in decent shape. And um, I gained a lot of weight, a lot of stress, a lot of things was going on for those almost two years. And uh, I've yo-yoed up and down probably since then. Um, more so at the tail end, middle, you know, five, six, seven years down the road. Really no excuse for it. Just never seemed to be able to, you know, life happens and all that and excuses and poor eating choices. And my weight just slowly starts increasing. And then you kind of take care of it. You drop it down five or ten pounds, you know, and sometimes you, you know, you do good and then you do bad. It's just this constant up and down. We've all been there, I think, for the most part, unless you're really lucky and you're super thin no matter what you eat. Some people are blessed that way. Me, if I breathe in fumes of a hamburger, my ass is gaining five pounds. So, you know, I just got to really watch what I do. So, we got back a few weeks ago now, maybe two and a half weeks, going on three weeks ago. We dived right in. We went into the pantry. We cleaned out our pantry. We cleaned out our fridge of any foods that did not say gluten-free on it. Um, even if I looked something up and it said, yeah, it probably is gluten-free, if it doesn't say it on the label, we threw it out. Um, we did donate um, a lot of the food that was not um, open, you know, and still was good. So we did donate that um, to a food pantry. Other than that, the rest of it went to trash. Um, and then we also seconded that, and not just only gluten-free, we did uh, GMO-free. Anything that said genetically bioneered food or ingredients in it, it was in the trash. Um, we watch our labels now, every single thing. Um, legally, they have to tell you if it has it in there. So it's not one of those things where people can say, well, they lie to you and this and that. You know, that's probably true, right? There's probably some things in there. You know, you got to do your re research, like sodium benzoate and preservatives and stuff. That stuff can still be in there, even though it, you know, and it's not a necessarily a bioengineered food product. But... Um, that's stuff you can continue to get better at, but if you just start up doing the gluten-free and you start doing the no GMOs, GMOs are bad news. Um, all the articles I'm reading is they cause pancreatic cancer, different kinds of cancers, weight gain, just 
bad gut health. Um, same thing with the gluten. Gluten can cause the bloating, weight gain, fatigue. And this is where I want to talk about the fatigue. I don't feel like I have necessarily a gluten allergy like my dad does, where my dad, you know, he told me a story where he had a couple bites of a hot dog. Sometimes every once in a while he'll kind of like succumb to it and be like, oh, I'll be all right, I'll just have this. So they were at the flea market and he had one of those hot dogs, probably with the bun, right? It's probably in a lot in the bread, but it's in a lot of things. Don't just think bread, it's in a lot of stuff. But two bites in, I guess he was, it was not good for three days. I mean, so he truly has a gluten allergy. I'm doing this to prevent myself from having health problems, to get my weight down, and just to become a healthier person in general. And I figured if it doesn't work, and I feel like it doesn't bother me, then I can always go back to it, right? It doesn't, doesn't hurt to do something and try. So we started this journey, and um, gluten can cause fatigue, bad digestion, um, think about they put wheat and rye and all that into all these foods. I mean, it's in so many things you wouldn't even believe, right? I mean, everything we eat. Same with the bioengineered products. Not that I paid attention when I was younger, but it seems like more and more and more they're engineering our food, messing with our food, and it's in everything. It's in your Ritz crackers. It's in your white crackers. It's in your bread, some breads. It's in your, all your canned, a lot of your man-made products now, right? Your Cheez-Its, your chips, your any of this stuff, man, you'd be surprised. Look at your labels, and the labels will say bioengineered food products in them. I mean, it's hard to find stuff. There is definitely things out there that don't have it, but it is hard to find foods and products that do not have this in your food. It's actually was kind of mind-blowing, and I'm not eating it no more. Absolutely not. At first, it might seem like, man, what are my choices? What are we going to do? You know, I've been lucky. I could call my dad and my mom up and ask them, you know, they gave me a list and I took photos of things that, you know, they've tried and they say are good. You know, not everything gluten-free is going to be tasty. So there's some things. I'll, I'll honestly say about 20% maybe of things that either A, you just be like, I'm just not going to have it no more. Or I can tolerate the taste. It fills me up. Learning to eat to live and not live to eat, right? Um, that's difficult for everybody to do. Everybody enjoys something good to eat. Um, but... You just got to get into a mindset where it's like, look, yes, you can still enjoy your food. It wasn't nearly as hard as I think both me and the wife thought it would be. A couple of days, you kind of go through almost like a withdrawal. You just, you're so hungry. Um, I guess I maybe, maybe I overly exaggerated that. It's not like you're, oh my God, I'm so hungry. It's just you are hungry because you're trying to avoid everything. You don't know what to have. Um, you got to jump in. you got to try new things. You're leery to try gluten-free stuff. You think it's going to be nasty. And let me tell you something. I, I enjoy probably 80 to 90% of it. And the stuff that maybe is a little iffy, usually it's a little dry or whatever. And you learn to have maybe some water with it or whatever, you know. We made spaghetti the other night and um, the gluten-free noodles. And I'm not going to lie, I, I thought it was kind of nasty. Like, I kind of tolerated it. I choked it down, and then I was done. The positive of that is I'm not eating too much, and I'm going to lose weight, right? But my biggest thing was I think the noodles, definitely the noodles were undercooked. So the wife cooked them for us, and she followed the box exactly. So I think it was like 11 or 12 minutes. Um... They were just too hard. I guess I couldn't get over maybe more the texture, not the taste. So we tried it again. She cooked them longer. She tested them this time. And honestly, it was great. I think we did try a different sauce too, a different gluten sauce, but I don't think it was the sauce. But it was really good. You could like you can kind of get this taste where it's gluten free, but it was really good this time. Um, so there definitely are foods there, breads. Um, there's this Hawaiian bread. I forget the brand name. It's a gluten-free bread. It's a little loaf. The size of the pieces are probably like my size of my hand. I mean, they're definitely small. But here's the thing. As a human being, you really do not need that much food. We're so used to just eating in abundance, and you don't, and our stomachs are stretched out, and you just, you don't need all this food. I mean, it's just... You know, you just get so accustomed to like, even I do it, right? You go to a restaurant and you get a plate and like these restaurants are starting to lower their portions and it's like, man, $15 and this is all I get. 
but it's like okay take that take that thought out of your head because what do I really need right I'm not going there to eat a buffet you know I'm not at a buffet I'm there to have a meal um, obviously it's more expensive to eat out than it is to eat at home that's just the way it is but it's like you just eat a small portion that's really all you need to sustain yourself and if you're eating the right things it should sustain you for longer in the day than f buy fillers and products and GMO and gluten all these fillers they put in your food that tear up your digestion that make you tired that um, cause all these health problems people getting gout and diseases and high blood pressure high cholesterol it's all a lot of it in what we're eating I'm not no doctor. I'm not trying to say I'm a doctor. I'm not trying to say I'm an expert. I just started this a couple weeks ago. But let me tell you something. I've been dealing with fatigue my entire life. Ever since I was a little kid, I'm just tired. I mean, I'm the type of guy I go over someplace, it's 5 o'clock, I'm yawning four or five different times. You know, by 7, 8 o'clock, I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, it just is what it is. Ever since I've been doing on this gluten for two weeks straight, I'm laid off right now, which I mentioned in other videos. So I have the luxury of taking a nap during the middle of the day. One, two o'clock, without even looking at the clock, we'll look at each other and be like, man, you, you want to take a nap? I mean, we're both smoked. And it's like, we haven't, some days we haven't done nothing. And we'd go take a nap for an hour or two, and then we were able to stay up a little bit later, right? Because naps really help. Ever since we started the gluten-free, I'll say about two days in. Two days in, without even realizing it, we were lasting the day. We were staying up till 12, 1 in the morning, getting five or six hours of sleep, naturally waking up at 6 or 7 o'clock, getting up, lasting the day. Have not took a nap for two and a half weeks. I will admit today we did take a nap, but naturally we had a bad storm last night. We got to bed late. I mean, it was a natural tired of why we needed it. It wasn't because we were so fatigued. For those two and a half weeks, my clarity, my vision, just I'm not getting that fatigue you know when you get tired and your eyes are drooping and you're just like struggling to stay awake and like you're alert but you're not and it's just that has totally gone away I mean I can stay up even right now it's 8 o'clock it's 8 20 p.m. okay and I'm starting to feel like okay my body's slowing down I've been up since you know 6 in the morning naturally getting tired that's normal but I'm still alert I'm still focused my vision is clear I mean I guarantee you I'll probably still stay up till 10 or 11 o'clock tonight, maybe longer, who knows. But, I mean, it has been, honestly, for us, it's been like a miracle. It's um, I have never been able to experience this my entire life, not to have that fatigue. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. And um, that's all we've done. We stopped GMO. We stopped gluten. My feeling is it's more the gluten that does, it, you look it up, it says it causes um, fatigue. But that GMO crap, Lord knows what it's doing to us. What's it doing to your mind, to your brain, to your mental clarity, to your just everything? I would highly, highly recommend trying this out. Do what we did. Give it a try. If you're dealing with fatigue, if you're dealing with digestion issues, if you're dealing with weight, weight issues, give this a try. I'm now down to 226.1 pounds in two weeks. I was at 233, I'll say 0.4, pushing 234, which had been the heaviest I've ever been, which is insane. I'm 5 foot 11. Like, there's no way I should be this heavy. I shouldn't be as heavy as I am now, but I'm on my downward spiral. And this ain't some fad diet. I've done the diets, you know, and, and all that stuff. And, and I don't even eat like crazy, but. You know, you eat bad. You have a couple Oreo cookies, that's 400 calories. You have a bowl of cereal. People don't realize. You know, I will say, actually, I forgot to mention this. We obviously are watching what we're eating. Not only are we eating gluten-free and GMO-free, we're also counting our calories through using an app, you know, because you got to know what you're eating. You can be on a gluten-free, uh, GMO-free diet, but you still can overeat. You definitely still can overeat um, and eat bad, right? Um we got gluten-free Oreo cookies, right? Those are my weakness, my kryptonite, if you will. Um, love Oreo cookies. Love that there's some gluten-free ones. But you got to watch it, right? They're still like 140 calories a cookie. You have three or four of those, they're 400 some calories. I ain't going to lie to you. In the past, the first row in a day would be gone, right? Eat five or six with a glass of milk. You don't realize how many calories you just consumed. Um, carbs and sugar and all that crap. 
So like you really do need to no matter what you do is you got to really watch your calories. You got to measure it. It sounds like a pain, but you get better at it. The more you do it, you learn that's an eight ounce glass. That's this. It's not as big deal. Um, these apps now you can scan. Um, actually, the app that I use, I'll show you guys right now. It's called My Net Diary. I used to use My Fitness Pal, but they started putting everything behind a paywall. You know, you used to be able to scan the foods. Now you got to pay for the app to do that and all that crap. Um, stop putting a lot of restaurants like Cracker Barrel and all, um, stuff. You know, calories real quick so you can add them in there. Um, my fit, my net diary has been awesome. They still try to get you to buy their app, but they don't put everything behind a paywall. You can track your weight, you can track your calories, you can scan the food. It's it's great. You know, it's probably would be an app that if they did want me to pay, maybe I probably would because I see the benefit of it. Because you don't realize how many calories you're taking in. And you also don't realize how much gluten and how much GMO food you're putting into your body. It's insane. Uh, my goal is to get back down to my 180, 185. I mean, if I get down to 170, 175, that's probably where I should be. Um, but I felt good at 180, 185. Anything higher than that, I, I don't feel like I need to be that high, that high. So I got a ways to go. So hopefully over the course of this channel, as I start doing videos... You guys will start seeing your boy thin out, get a little better shape. Um, that's the goal. Totally watch my calories. I'm not going to act like I don't have a bad day. Yesterday, even though we're eating so clean, I had one too many Oreos. Um, I broke down for the first time in two and a half weeks, and I had uh, two small Cokes. I usually would get a, what I call them as a, a fat boy, the big, the big Cokes, you know, in the can. Um, I was just craving one, and Coke is gluten-free, by the way. There's no bioengineered products in it. Still not good for you, right? Full of sugar. Literally, by having one bad day, I went over my calories by 400, and I gained half a pound. So today, I totally chilled out. I didn't have no snacks. I didn't have no garbage. Um, we found these drinks right here. Shout out to Celsius Live Fit. Let's see if I can get a little closer. They're $1.88 at Walmart. They are only 10 calories. Um, they're gluten-free. They don't have a lot of crap in them. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like they don't have... You can look at some of this stuff, and there's stuff in there that's like, mm, you know. But GMO-free, no gluten, um, you know, within reason. I don't sit there and down them all the time. We buy, like, five each per week, and they last us a couple weeks. So we don't have one every day. When you want when something a little more than water, I have something like that. They're pretty tasty, um, low calories, low sugar, no GMO. It says right here, zero, zero sugar, uh, gluten-free, non-GMO, certified vegan, no aspartame, no artificial colors, no high fructose corn syrup, all that crap that makes you fat and nasty. Um, I don't mean fat as nasty. What I mean is just all the nasty crap and garbage that can really affect you. Um, so it's kind of a nice break drink a lot of water, drink that, you know, still have my coffee with my, uh, my creamer, um, which I got to watch that because it's got 30 calories per tablespoon, and uh, if y'all are coffee drinkers like me, put a little too much to get that taste, you got to watch how many calories that is too, but my stuff is gluten-free, non-GMO, you got to do it right, you can't just half-ass play around, dance around about it, if you're going to do it, you got to do it. But let me tell you something. I am not tired anymore. It's unbelievable. And at first, the first couple of days, I was like, man, this isn't real. Like, you're just having a good day or a couple good days. Like, there's no way it started working this quick. Like, is this real? And as the days kept going on, and I'm just, it's been literally almost three weeks. And every single day, I have energy like you wouldn't believe. We just bought this house in September of last year. I am running around. There's so much to do here anyway, has been since we bought it, but I am up and I'm doing and I'm outside and I'm working and I'm just, I mean, I'm back to how I was 20 years ago when I was younger. Even though, yes, I had the fatigue, I still was 20 years younger. I had energy, you know, it's just I crashed quick um, after I had to force myself more and stuff, but, it, you know, I ran businesses. I, I was on, you know, I was on the go. Um, but I have that kind of energy again. It's absolutely insane. It's so good. My wife notices it. She's 100% on board with it. She's dropping weight as well. I'm dropping weight. Um, it's like, there's, and it's not bad. There's nothing about what we're doing that's bad for you, right? It's not like I'm taking a supplement. Oh, you got to watch that supplement. Or I don't work out at all. Not that I'm not against it. 
Um, I used to, I've been working out on and off my whole life, you know, muscle memory. I can, I can jack up pretty quick, um, at least in the arms and chest and stuff like that. Uh, gut, gut weight is, <laughs> for guys, is difficult, but, um, but it's obviously doable. Um, not against working out, but 80% of weight loss, at least, is in your diet. That's exactly what all the professionals say and been saying. It's all in your diet. You can lose and gain. You can work out all you want, but if you're eating the crap and consuming too many calories, it isn't going to work. But this right here, man, I feel better. I have clarity. I'm not exhausted. I'm not tired. I'm not taking naps. I'm, I've got energy. I mean, I've got some major energy. I'm getting things done. Um, it probably would have helped me with these 12-hour days you're working at work. So I'm ingesting this bad, and I'm just, it's this constant rat reel, this circle. So I would highly, highly suggest going gluten and GMO, GMO free. Genified, no, I'm sorry, uh, forget what it freaking's called um, already, but um, no GMOs. Genetically modified foods. Um, get that stuff out of your system. Try to prevent your health problems before they happen. So many people don't do stuff like this until they have to, till they get gout, till they get high blood pressure, how they get high cholesterol, they have obesity problems, they have liver disease. I mean, once they get the problem, they're like, okay, I gotta do something about it. Fix it before the problem happens. I've been very lucky that even though I've been overweight, um, I haven't been, um, I have not caused myself any damage, any harm. My my when I go to the doctor, my blood pressure, everything is great. Um, I'm very blessed that that's happened, but that doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever, right? You think you're healthy, and the next day you have a heart attack. So it's like I'm trying to prevent this stuff. I'm trying to get down to my good shape before I turn 40 years old. So by October of next year or of this year, 2024. Your boy be turning the big four zero. I'll be forty years old, um, and I do not want to go into my forties overweight, dog tired. So I've had some reasons to um, to do this right for my health, for my longevity. My wife's eleven years younger than me, so it's like you got to keep up, right? Um, she likes to go and do things. I don't want to be that that old man that's just uh, I'm tired, you know. Just and I'm telling you, this has been a godsend. I'll keep everybody updated how I'm feeling as time's going on. Um, I'm 226.1 pounds right now. Maybe this I'll use this video as kind of a, y'all can keep me honest, man. Uh, posting the messages, you know, how's it going? Keep me motivated. Keep me moving. I'll try to help keep you guys moving. But um, this gluten-free, GMO, watching your calorie thing. And again, it's not about just the weight loss. I'll get the weight down regardless if I'm not eating this stuff. But it sure as heck wasn't helping me. And so I would highly suggest um, you guys try this if you're struggling. If you want to feel better, even if you're not, give it a try. It's a little bit more costly. Like a loaf of bread is like five sixty two for a loaf. But you learn to not eat as much. That's a big thing. You don't eat as much. You stay fuller longer when you're eating these meals, truly. Smaller portions, you stay fuller longer. Um, it really is worth doing. Um, you still can, it's not, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but you don't buy as much. If you're truly doing this right, you can't buy as much because you'll walk into Myers, you're not cruising up and down the aisles no more because you already know half the stuff you normally used to get, you can't eat no more. I love Starbucks uh, vanilla drinks. I, I probably guarantee you, I haven't looked, I haven't bothered to look, but I'll bet you that's got bioengineered products in it. Um, chips, most cookies, I mean, so much crap. You don't even bother to go look at it no more. You go to the gluten-free aisle area at Myers or at Walmart or wherever. You grab your bread. You learn the things you like. You take that. Over time, you'll learn to spice things up and try different things. For lunch, have a fruit salad, fruit bowl. Make sure the yogurt that you get is either, um, there's a vanilla yogurt, probiotic yogurt that's really good, lower in calories and gluten-free and no GMOs. Um, you just learn and, and find different things that you can do and different things that you can eat. And it becomes a lifestyle change. It truly does. I'm early in. I plan on never going back. If this is how I'm going to feel all the time, every day, this is easy for me. I have no problem. Um, hopefully in six, seven more months, I'll be on stream, on camera, 
and looking like my old self, not so overweight and uh, and whatnot. Um, I may come off a little bit um, kind of quiet today. I'm a little bit, it's getting late, getting a little tired. I'm just kind of in a chill mood. Um, if you notice behind me, my room, this is my little man cave, sports man cave, all pistons pretty much. Um, I'm still in the process of getting this floor put together, which I'm going to work on maybe tonight, probably more like tomorrow now. Um, but I'm going to get it put together. Maybe I'll do a little room tour if you guys are interested in it. Um, have any of you guys tried and done this before? Gluten-free, no GMO, healthy, clean eating? Um, if so, I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say about it and if you'd be willing to do it or if you've struggled doing it or, you know, just be kind of curious to interact with you guys about it. So another thing about my videos, if you notice, I don't say the typical like, subscribe, um, listen, we're all on YouTube all the time, you know, you don't need to be told to like and subscribe. If you like my content, if you like the video, you're going to like the video, you're going to subscribe. If you don't or you don't care to, then you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I said from the beginning when I started these videos, I'm not necessarily trying to become a big YouTube star. Um, I just want to interact with people, make good videos. I want to review products that I buy that are good so other people can buy good stuff and so we're not wasting our money on junk, um, which there's so much junk out there. I also want to talk about healthy things, healthy eating. Um, I'll probably do a tour of my property. I think I already have a video on my channel of my property because I'm trying to keep a video log of when we first bought the house and as we process through. I'm actually due to make another video. Maybe I'll do it in the next few days once I get my room done and we kind of clean up the house because I got things in other rooms that I got to bring in here and all that. But um, I'm due for another update video. We've actually done quite a bit of work. I mean, whew, a lot of work already. So it's looking nicer and nicer. But um, um, but yeah, so you guys are going to find that I'm going to have a lot of different videos. Um, one day we might be talking about headphones. The next day we're talking about gluten-free eating. Uh, I mean, maybe tomorrow I'll be reviewing a wheelbarrow. Who knows? Um, I'm just going to make fun different videos. Some videos like this where we just sit here and talk. And um, hopefully you guys are interested enough to listen and interact with me and just have a good time and have some fun. And if I gain a little following, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Then we have more people to talk about, more opinions more conversation, and that's what it's all about, right? Being nice to each other, being respectful of each other. Everybody's going to have different opinions, different views, but we all can do it in a healthy, nice, uh, friendly kind of way, which I think in this environment, the way this world is, that's never a bad thing. So, all right, everybody, you all have a good night. You be safe and take care.